In today's video, I'm showing you how to add aquachar to your reef aquarium so that you can clarify your reef tank's water. So what is aquachar? Well, aquachar is a biomedia that lasts longer than activated carbon and it helps to clarify your water amongst many other benefits. It creates a feeding ground for bacteria and a safe place to grow that beneficial bacteria that's needed in our reef aquariums. Now it's real easy to add aquachar to your reef tank. You can use it in a reactor, but the easiest way to use it would be using a mesh bag. Later on in the video, I'm gonna be giving away some aquachar. So if you wanna try it for the very first time or if you need some more, be sure to stick around for later in the video. But now let's go ahead and add aquachar to the reef aquarium and show you step-by-step step what I did. Okay, so first off, I got my mesh bag ready and then I opened up the aquachar. Now when adding aquachar, the instructions call for one cup per 50 gallons. So with my aquarium being 125 gallons with a 39 gallon sump, minus some water displacement, I'm at around 155 gallons total water volume. So in my case, I should add three cups of aquachar to my bag. Now, if you have more sensitive tank inhabitants, then aquachar recommends starting with a half dose, and then you can add more as you progress. Take a look real quick at this piece of aquachar. Now, this is what sets it apart from activated carbon is the sizes of each piece is different and how porous this is versus activated carbon is very different. There's a lot of surface area within each piece of aquachar, allowing it to be a safe haven and feeding ground for bacteria. Another thing is that it actually attracts organics to it. That's how it absorbs and takes out and clarifies your water. And then those organics become the feeding ground for bacteria. And then it promotes the beneficial bacteria in your reef tank. So I ended up starting with two cups. Once you add the aquachar to the mesh bag, it's a good idea to take it and rinse it thoroughly. You wanna rinse your aquachar very, very well. I used RODI water for this. Now, once you rinse your aquachar, it's time to add it to your tank. Now you can put this in your aquarium if you're not using a sump, or if you have a sump, it's good to place it down there. Now, when you're putting it in the sump, you'll notice that the bag of aquachar is gonna float, and that's perfectly fine. It will float on the water surface until it fills up with organics, and then it will start to sink. Or you can do what I chose to do, which was to get a bio brick that I already had in the sump and kind of weighted it down so it stayed underneath the water. So either way is perfectly fine. Okay, so you wanna try aquachar on your reef aquarium and you made it to this point in the video. Now, all you have to do to win aquachar is to subscribe to the Coral Reef Talk and let me know about it in the comment section below. Say, I'm subscribed and I wanna try in the comment section below. And once we hit 10,000 subscribers, I will pick someone at random from the comments to win a 100 gallons worth of aquachar. Aquachar works for several months and it lasts a lot longer than activated carbon. Some of the benefits include that it buffers your pH and it acts as a biomedia because it will attract the beneficial bacteria. Also, if you'd like to do a quick 30 second monthly maintenance, all you have to do is take your mesh bag of Aquachar out of your sump or your aquarium during a water change and put it in the bucket of water that you siphoned out of your aquarium, shake off any uh, buildup that might have accumulated and then put it back in your sump or in your aquarium so that the uh, porosity of your Aquachar uh, is restored so that water can flow through and bacteria can continue to consume and grow. Just make sure when adding aquachar to your reef aquarium, you're following the instructions and continue to monitor your parameters. It's always good to test. Uh, so make sure you are in a good testing regimen so that you know what your tank is doing, especially when you add something new like aquachar. Now, if you would like to purchase aquachar, check out 
the Amazon affiliate link in the description below. It will take you right to Aquachar on Amazon and the Coral Reef Talk makes a small percentage of the sale so it supports the channel. Now you can also purchase Aquachar from Aquachar.com as well. Now like I said there's a lot of benefits to adding Aquachar to your reef aquarium and if you'd like to see the five reasons why Aquachar is better than activated carbon, then you can click on this video right up here and make sure you enter the contest. Let me know in the comments that you're subscribed and you wanna try Aquachar and I'll see you in the next video.